Hey guys, it's me Jenny and today I want to share with you a healthy version of corn dip. I've noticed that corn dip has been kind of going around the internet for the past couple of months and it is made completely unhealthy and something if you're like me and want to eat healthy, don't want to try, but it looks so good you want it. So I took it upon myself to figure out how to make this healthy and that is what this video is about. So if you want to know how to make healthy corn dip, then keep watching. Here is what you're going to need. You are going to need um, a can of yellow corn, a can of white corn, or you can use fresh. I'm going this way to make it easy. And then this is Rotel and it is the original diced tomatoes with green chilies. Um, again, you can buy fresh tomatoes and fresh green peppers, but for sake of time, I just went ahead and bought, bought canned. You're going to need some mild cheddar or sharp cheddar, whatever kind of cheese you like. You can do Mexican cheese. I just like this kind. Um, for instead of using mayonnaise, we are going to use this Chobani non-fat, which is going to bring in protein to this. And then I am going to use just a little bit of full fat sour cream. You can do um, fat free, but I chose not to, mainly because I'm doing like a keto diet. So I'm cutting carbs instead of fat. And then just to top it off with some green onions. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is set my oven to bake at 350 degrees. Next is I'm gonna get a frying pan out and I'm going to saute the corn and rotel. Next, I'm gonna take my frying pan and set this to medium heat. And I'm just gonna use some Pam you can use butter, you can use oil, um, I find this to be the healthiest, I need to get some more. Okay. Then I'm going to add the white corn, which I have already drained, and the yellow corn, which I have drained. Rotel, which I have also drained. Okay. I'm just going to kind of saute this for about mm, eight to ten minutes, I guess. going to add some garlic powder and I don't really measure this I kind of just coat it garlic if you don't like it you can skip it but it's really good for you it has a lot of anti-cancer benefits and it's just really good for you next is I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt and a little bit of pepper We're just going to mix that all in. Okay, so, and now I'm going to transfer this into this. This is a oven safe um, dish. You can use a glass dish. Anything you want that's nice and deep, as you can see here. Okay. Just kind of smooth it out. All right, next is I'm going to be adding in the Chobani. I am going to use um, this big spoon here and do about one big scoop. And 
actually going to add the entire thing to it. Okay, let me have it in here like that. And if you're wondering, this is the 5.3 ounces of Chobani non-fat. Next, I'm only going to add a little bit of this sour cream. This is um, by Daisy. It's their, it's not their um, low fat or anything. Like I said, I'm kind of on a full fat diet. So, okay. And this one I'm using a much smaller spoon and I'm just gonna do a little bit for a taste. Okay, and that should do it. And next I'm just gonna mix this all in together. to chop up these green onions and just kind of sprinkle them on top. <clears throat> Fun fact, when you are using a green onion, um, you never really want to start cutting from the top. You really are only wanting to eat from like this white part to about here. That's the part that's good. Up here, like I used to th think this was the good part, but it's actually not. So for this, you want from here to about here. I also heard if you take off the bulb, and put it in some water with the roots down. It will grow and you will never have to buy green onions again. So we are going to try that too. Okay, so these are my green onions. I'm just gonna take these and just kind of sprinkle them right on top. You can do as much of this or as little as this or skip this, totally up to you. I'm not a huge onion flavor. Nah. All right, let me wash my hands. And now the best part is the cheese. You just wanna grab a good handful of this and just put this all over the top. You get protein from this from the cheese, from the yogurt, and just a little bit from the sour cream. Not much. Like I said, you can skip the sour cream if you want to and do more yogurt, but. Okay. That should be good. And then we're gonna pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for about mm, 10 minutes. Just enough for the cheese to really melt and the flavors to blend. Here is the finished product. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. And now for the taste test. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Please make this. Mm -hmm. You're gonna love it. <laughs> so that's it. It's such a simple thing to do. You can eat this um, plain in a bowl. I, I don't really suggest that, but you can. Um, if you wanna eat this, I would eat this with a little bit of blue tortilla chips. Um, you can eat this with, if you wanna be bad, you can eat it with Fritos or anything you want, really. You could use, um, I don't know, celery, anything you want really. And that's it. If you like this, please give this a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more recipes like this, please comment below. I love doing these kind of videos. So just let me know if you like them. All right, thanks guys. Bye.